and voice are important factors to consider when analyzing a text. Sometimes tone and voice contrast in their message. This is especially true in satire. Let's take a look at the tone, voice, and humor in A Witch Trial at Mount Holly by Benjamin Franklin, and I'll show you what I mean. In A Witch Trial at Mount Holly, Franklin uses satire, a form of humor, to illustrate the illogical process of, and beliefs surrounding, a Protestant witch trial. The humor of the satire is in the contrast between the businesslike tone of the piece and the absurdity of the events. Although Franklin uses formal words like accused, desirous, and undergo, creating a tone that sounds serious, the absurdity of what he actually reports hints at his true intent. The accusations in the text are clearly false. The trial process is silly, but it is Franklin's method of reporting the events that brings the satire to life. Franklin highlights the humor in the situation without directly stating it. The contrast between the seriousness of his tone and the ridiculousness of the events he reports is like a sly wink to the reader. The humor is in the unspoken. Franklin allows the reader to recognize the humor in events. For example, Franklin states here, in an earnest tone, that the committees are particularly vigilant in removing small objects that might add weight to those being tried. What is unspoken is that the humans naturally weigh more than the Bible they will be weighed against. Thus, the attention to small details, like checking for pins, is actually just ridiculous. Rather than choosing to state this directly, Franklin provides the absurd detail and trusts the reader to recognize the absurdity. Franklin's voice throughout the piece is unique for its wry playfulness. In this line, Franklin does not directly state that the accused man fought to sink in order to appear innocent, which is what happened. Such directness would not be as humorous. Instead, Franklin makes use of his playfully indirect voice to state that the man sank with difficulty, and he compares him to the others who stayed very light upon the water. Implying the humorous action rather than directly stating it is a hallmark of satire. Word choice and phrasing are rarely coincidental in published works. There are many ways to state a single idea, so the way an author chooses to articulate a point is worthy of discussion. Benjamin Franklin's tone and voice, as much as what he was saying, made the piece funny. When you're amused by a piece of writing, ask yourself what tone the author is using and why. <laughs> you might be surprised how useful that can be to your analysis.